hi friends welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to show you how to run sysprep tool on Windows Server 2003 so I have one Windows Server 2003 virtual machine in my VMware workstation you can verify from my computer Windows Server 2003 R2 Enterprise Editions or Respect 2 so I am going to run sysprep on this machine so to run sysprep we have to mount the installation media of Windows Server 2003 in network drive or CD drive so I'm going to map here ISO image and I'm going to select my ISO file of Windows Server 2003 Enterprise Service Pack 2 R2 which is installed on my server so I'm going to open it and click OK and it will mount the installation media of Windows Server 2003 in, in DVD drive I'm going to click on open and under the support folder tools here is one folder deploy old dot cap so I'm going to run double click on it uh, here is the list of files which is under the cap file I'm going to select the all files and right button click extract I'm going to make it and C drive so I'm going to make a folder sys prep under the C drive and select the folder extract the all files it will extract all the files in OS disk here is sysprep you can verify so before running the sysprep.exe file we need to run sysprep uh, setup.manager which create an answer file for windows server 2003 sysprep so the uh, once you double click you got the screen welcome to setup manager click next and you have two options create a new file or modify existing so I am going to create a new file so create a new file and next and here is the option unattend setup sysprep setup and remote installation so these are the different different files on answer file for the different different things like unattend installation for CD based installation sysprep and RIS so I am going to select sysprep setup because I am go I want to run sysprep on this machine itself so click next and here is select the windows product so I am going to select Windows Server 2003 Enterprise Edition click next here is the option do you want to run fully automate the installation yes or no so I am going to select yes full automate the installation or no so I am going to select no don't want to fully automate installation so it will give you the all the setting which needs to be configured and answer file so I am going to put here information like name Vikas Singh my organization name vector infosol.com and display setting I am not going to touch anything in a display time zone I am going to select my time zone GMT 5 plus 30 New Delhi product key and license information computer name so you can specify the computer name or automatically generate a computer name so I am going to select automatically generated computer name I am going to set here password for my administrator account here it is and network component it's installed by default client for Microsoft network do want to do anything and here is the option if you want to join machine in domain you can verify these things I'm not going to join this machine in domain and telephone digital setting language install printer if you want to add any printer run once here is the you can specify any sys command line or any batch file additional commands so that's all so I'm going to select all click on finish and the path of dot information file say going to save in C drive says per folder so click OK and you can see here you have successfully completed the setup manager and created the following file so we have a one file with sysprep.inf file so I'm going to open my C drive and sysprep folder here is the file you can verify the all thing whatever we have put it my administrator password there is one op option encrypt password so I have not selected that's why you can see the password for and you can see here encrypt admin password 
equal to no means I have not encrypted my password and these are the all options here so just now you can run the sysprep.exe file so I am going on my OS day sysprep and run the system preparation dot exe file and it will show you it will reset the security settings for machine and after after you run the system windows will automatically shut down okay and I am going to here option reshell and click on reshell and yes to generate it will generate a new SSID for machine security identifier and on the next reboot once the machine is reboot if the machine is created uh, under the Active Directory or uh, it's not not uh, join the Active Directory does not matter so I am going to click on OK and you can see sysprep is working and the machine is shutting down so you can see machine is shut down and power on the machine now it will initialize from the system preparation tool and it will ask for everything like the new fresh installation but it will take the some information from sysprep answer file you can see please wait while windows prepares to start and here we are you can see windows setup please wait it's giving the operating system version windows server 2003 enterprise editions here it is welcome to windows setup wizard click next I accept this agreement click next and now it will take the some settings for answer file you can see install startup menu register server everything's done and server is rebooted So here we are on Control to Dell. Press Control to Dell, and we have to put password which we have set in our prep installation file. Okay, and now you can see it's basically on and prep uh, setup. So it's almost done. So the machine has logged in and if you want to verify you can verify from here and go to properties you can see the OS version and the machine is stacking the automatic or random password which uh, random username uh, computer name which is generated by sysprep settings and if you want to go here and check the time setting 
you can see the settings are applied as per our suspect information file so this is all about running susprep on windows server 2003 machine and thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos hope you guys will enjoy this video and thanks if you have any query any question you can write me on my given mail id thanks once again bye bye